Well, you wake up super late if you're any good at your job. And that way you can all, like, if you're a nine to fiver, probably you can wake up at like seven or eight. That way you're like pumped and primed, ready to go, sleep wise, whatever. But uh, if you are a nighttime bartender, it's uh, difficult for a lot of people because you have to be like nocturnal essentially. But it's awesome. I remember like when I was growing up, I watched like a, some kind of detective cartoon, like Dick Tracy or something. And they were trying to be like, no, smoking is the devil. So we can't have that in cartoons. So they replaced all the cigarettes with toothpicks. And I didn't know that because I was just growing up. I was like, man, five-year-old me thinks that's really cool looking. So eh, something to stand out. But you have to be interactive to answer your original question. Like there are too many times when you go to a bar, especially in Pullman, like that's the main social activity. I'd say like uh, most people don't view uh, bartending as a career, which is, you know, a double-edged sword. But a lot of times, like because you have to be a night person or because, you know, you have to be around people that are drinking, you know, all the time, like uh, it weeds out like 97% of us, like. Remember that feeling when you're like, a little kid and you play your first RPG and you're like what are all these skill points or attributes or whatever and you know the childlike logic says you just can put all of them into just one attribute and then you continually die and you're like what's going on why is this not working but you're really good at that one thing yeah I did that with bartending I suck at everything else in life <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful like I wouldn't trade it but if I can't bartend, then I'm screwed. Um, in August, I will have been here for 10 years, which is ludicrous by almost everybody's standards. Like, I went to high school on the west side. I grew up in D.C. Like, this is not my uh, place of origin by any means, but during this kind of an economy, when... Uh, Kind of, uh, when most degrees don't seem to have as much work value and prosperity as they should or maybe used to a decade ago, the cost of living is nothing. It's super safe. Like you don't have to lock your car, your doors, or anything. Like there's no old people, there's no children, there's no violent crime, there's no traffic, there's no pollution. Like I'm not saying forever, but for the time now, this is like a Disneyland for big kids. I was pretty surprised that I got a call, to be honest. But uh, I was thinking about it. I'm like, the truth is, I'm not the best bartender. I'm just the only actual one in Pullman.